Hi, this is Vince Ferraro. I hope you enjoy our Z-axis attachment video. In the industrial world, milling machines have three primary axes. The X, which would be left and right. The Y, which would be towards you and away from you. And the Z, which would be up and down. In this video, we'll be focusing primarily on the Z-axis. With our MX series, you can mill in all three axes simultaneously. We call this milling on the fly. As you can see, the motor is high over the model and would require a lot of downward pressure to bring it into the work area. If you don't require the ability of the motor to freely move up and down, you can lower the motor to the ideal height and lock it in place with a death stop screw. And there are times when using this mode will be exactly what you want. A good example would be milling a lingual shelf where you don't want the height to vary from the mesial to the distal. And of course, if you still want the ability to move freely up and down, you can move the primary arm a little bit lower until the motor is in what we call the sweet spot the ideal working area. Or you can install the Z-axis attachment. You start by removing the motor and the standard motor arm. And replace it with the Z-axis attachment. Reinstall the motor and lock it in place. Loosen the depth stop screw so the spring becomes functional again. And instead of raising or lowering the primary arm, we just raise or lower the motor arm. so that we can always position our motor in the sweet spot, the ideal working area.